do a very long overdue episode uh, of Heavy Metal Minis. Uh, I just want to say I'm still here. Uh, I'm excited to be back. Um, I haven't made a video in a very long time. Uh, it's for a lot of reasons. Um, one of the reasons is I've actually got a brand new podcast out called The Heavy Metal Hangover. You can check that out at theheavymetalhangover.com. Um, but I'm not here just to promote that. I've actually, I've just been very busy. I've been doing that. Um, I got a whole bunch of stuff painted and I recently invested in an airbrush. I got this trusty, uh, Badger Patriot 105. This has been, uh, kind of fun. I've only painted, oh, one model really with it. And I'm going to do another video on, uh, kind of my thoughts on the Badger Patriot and all that jazz. But why don't we start this video off and say what I'm here to talk about today, and that is uh, this one right here, Steinal Res Black Primer. Now, I've done other videos on here where I talked about how I prime my minis, and what I thought I would do is show you kind of the process that I'm using now. Hey, the process I said before where you used a rattle can, there was nothing wrong with that. Uh, I, you know, rattle can primed all the models that I have, but now that I've got this, uh, airbrush here, um, why don't we talk about the way I'm priming now and kind of my overall thoughts. So why don't we take a look at, and it's going to be kind of hard to see on here, but this is a model that I primed, uh, the old way. This is obviously a Necromunda model, which I'm going to be hopefully painting very soon, maybe on this channel. Um, and this one I primed with the rattle can, and if you can see when you're kind of up close, see if I can zoom that in there, um, you know, it works. It covers real well. It's definitely thick. Uh, it's definitely on there, but why don't I show you a nice side-by-side? -side. I'm not sure if you can tell, but the difference between rattle can primer and Steinal Res through an airbrush now, it might be relatively hard to tell on here, but this is such a considerably thinner layer of paint on there that, not to say that this is obstructing uh, any of the details on the model, but this is just doing that even more. It's really, really thin. It goes on really easy. Now, would I say go out and buy an airbrush just to prime? I don't know, that's hard to say. Uh, the one big advantage, of course, with priming with an airbrush uh, is that you can do it inside. You can do it, uh, and I know I've been doing it inside, but I, I like to keep windows open and things like that, and I'm in a basement. Um, but, you know, right now where I'm standing, we're getting a massive blizzard outside. It's crushing us in snow. I don't have to worry about going in outside. I can just airbrush prime this. Um, so that's kind of the difference. It's kind of hard to tell on here, but if you were to hold these two up next to each other, you would definitely be able to tell how much thinner of a layer you can get on there uh, with this Steinal Res. Um, I will tell you what I like about this stuff is it's it goes on really easy. Um, you don't have to thin this down. It's perfectly thin. You want to make sure you shake it up really well, but again, we've been doing that with every model we do anyway. Um, a couple things that I have learned I will tell you about this Steinal Res is that um, unless you're using some kind of paint retardant, uh, don't get too crazy and pour a bunch of this into your um, into your airbrush because what ends up happening is it'll actually start drying in the cup because you know I, I I did that at first I was like okay I'm gonna just start priming a bunch of models and once I got to like oh I don't know the fourth or fifth one of these I noticed that it started drying in there so do one of two things either use some kind of retardant because we're not thinning it down, or you know, just use little bits at a time, and uh, and it'll work out for you. So why don't I go ahead and uh, show you how I prime uh, one model on here, and we'll take a look at the Steinal Res, and uh, maybe you can check it out. Maybe you like it. Maybe you give it a try. I bought it on I bought it on Amazon. I think this was eight bucks, um, give or take. But I have a feeling this is going to last me a really long time. So why don't I show you how this works? Okay. So first of all, I will tell you. I was never a big handle guy. I had no problem just holding these by the bases. But when, when I'm airbrushing, this Citadel paint handle is great. Um, I actually highly recommend it. I know they're sold out a lot of places, but if you can get your hands on one, they're definitely worth it. Now, I only put a little bit, like I said, in here. Um, but let's just kind of show you how this works. Now, we'll do videos on this um, 
on this airbrush. I'm still kind of new to it, but let me show you kind of how this works here. Now we're going to do it nice and thin in there like that. Nice and thin. Now, I've heard, um, as you can tell, I've got a nice, relatively quiet compressor over there so I can actually talk while using it. Now, I've had some people tell me that it's actually way faster to use um, a rattle can. Um, I mean, yeah, it is. Uh, I mean, I could, I could mash this button down and do it all nice and fast if I wanted to, but that's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to do this right. Remember, um, switching to an airbrush, and we'll do a whole video about that, I promise. We'll do lots of them. There's more reasons to do it than just speed, I promise you. Things will go a little faster. Hey, uh, Alexa's turning on. Hello, Alexa. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, finish this up, and what we're going to have is a model that basically looks like this. There's no point in me showing you how to do it. I'm just spray painting it on. I'm just spraying it on there. Um, but that's kind of my opinion with Steinol Res. I highly recommend it. Uh, I will tell you that I've never used any other spray on primer. I use this one uh, just because of some recommendations. So maybe, you know, people out there have a better experience with something um, by Vallejo or any other company. I don't know, but I will tell you, Steinol Res certainly gets the heavy metal mini stamp of approval. I highly recommend you give it a try if you're using an airbrush. Keep it tuned to this channel. Uh, I know it's been a while, and to everybody that's still uh, subscribing and still watching, I want to say thank you very, very much. Uh, again, I've just been very busy with my podcast. Uh, but hey, this is Heavy Metal Mini saying thank you, and I promise we will have some more videos coming up very soon.